Hello Year 9 and welcome to your next lesson in the development gap topic. The image on the board should be familiar to you. Um, it's the video you watched at the very start of this topic. I want you to try and remember back, try and visualize what happened to this graph uh, shown in front of you and what the main point of this video was and just jot down one or two sentences to remind yourself of that. It's going to be very helpful to think about that for today's lesson as well. So let's just spend a few minutes on that. Pause the video now and we'll look at some answers. OK, so the video is the first thing you watched. We already said that it compares income and life expectancy and explains that as countries get healthier, they then get wealthier. The countries that have the lower life expectancies have less wealth. There is a clear trend that this can happen to all countries. And the data stops in 2009, so it will be important to see what comes next. Is it correct? And actually, yes, it is. If you follow that through to today, um, generally some countries improve, some don't, um, but nothing massive has changed, certainly nothing that breaks what we've learned from that. So with that in mind, let's move on to today's lesson. The idea we were talking uh, last lesson about what the causes of uneven development were, today is about the consequences, specifically to do with wealth, money and health. So could you write that title? Read through the objectives, make sure you've got all the equipment. The worksheet is um, save the class charts. If you can't download it, don't worry. Uh, there's an option for copying some things out. So don't worry if you can't get that. If you can and print it, you'll speed yourself up. Anyway, pause the video now. OK, so start by copying the subtitle wealth and then get thinking. Does this photo, uh, what does it make you think about? And have you experienced anything like this yourself? If you could pause the video now and do that. And I'll start to continue talking in just a second. OK, so this video really is highlighting inequality, the idea that there is an inequality of wealth in this world. Um, and I think this photograph really does sum that up uh, very well, doesn't it? You've got a man on the left. Now, we don't know much about these people. We're making assumptions based on what they look like, which is which is never great. But that's what we've got to work with here. It's, it's getting you thinking about the fact that you will have seen in your life people who are wealthy and people who are clearly not. You'll have come across those um, maybe personally. You'll have come across those maybe in personally by walking past people on the street, such as in this situation here. Uh, but we've all seen unless we've been living under a rock somewhere, we've all seen inequality in the world around us. Um, so we all have some prior knowledge of that uh, on which to build. So let's start looking at the whole world. We're looking globally in this topic. So let's continue that trend. There are four statements. I'd like you to look at this um, figure here, this graph, and I'd like you to write each statement truthfully. So put the numbers one to four on the margin and then write out those statements truthfully. If there's anything in there that's wrong, and I'll tell you now, yes, there is. You need to correct that and change it to make it true. So pause the video now, spend a couple of minutes on each of those thinking about them. Next slide will show some answers. OK, so the first and the fourth were correct. North America does have the highest share of global wealth, and this is a bar chart. However, India does not have the lowest share of global wealth. It's actually the whole continent of Africa. And just take a moment to consider that India as a country in Asia has a higher percentage of the total global wealth in the world than the entire continent of Africa does. A country against a continent that suddenly puts this in, into perspective. Look at China. That's again an individual country and it has significantly more of the global wealth than Africa than India. Number three, wealth is distributed equally no it is not it is unequal around the world meaning that wealth is not equal some parts of the world have more wealth such as north america and europe than others such as africa and latin america okay with that in mind let's move on so nothing to write here just something to read and look at and think about i want you to consider the facts shown here and just think to yourself is this fair do you think personally that this is a fair situation? Spend a moment thinking about that. And on the next slide, we'll go through some potential thoughts you may have had. So pause the video now and have a few minutes thinking about that. So some people would argue, no, it's not fair. Everyone should be equal. So 
Some people, however, would argue, yes, some people deserve more than others. Some people have other opinions in between those uh, or are not sure. So really, the ultimate aim of that thinking task is um, there is inequality in the world. Uh, there's huge inequality. However, some people think that's fine. Some people don't. And there's no right or wrong here. Um, it really just depends where you are from, what you're thinking about um, and, and who you are. OK, so let's get back to the facts. We have a lovely, colourful world map here. Um, it is a, a choropleth map using shades of colour to show, in this case, the median wealth per adult measured in dollars. So looking at the, the average wealth per adult in each of those countries. You'll notice that the colours change. If we're looking at a green colour, you're generally in the wealthier end. If you're looking at a pink colour, you're generally in the least wealthy end. And that sort of very, very pastely light pink sitting in the middle. Um, and the darker the green, the more wealth, and the darker the pink, the lower the wealth. That's important to consider. OK, so with that in mind and, and using the key there to remind yourself, I'd like you to copy and complete those three bullet points at the bottom. Where you have the two options, you need to pick the correct option. So I should spend about five minutes copying and completing that. And I'll go through the answers on the next slide. Pause the video now. OK, so the two continents with the highest median wealth are North America and Europe. Um, the lowest wealth is found in the centre of the continent of Africa and wealth is spread unevenly around the world. We've already made that point from the graph before, but once again, we have more and more proof here that there is this big difference between different countries around the world. So with that in mind, let's move on. OK, we're going to move on to health. Uh, that's got the idea of, of wealth. Um, uneven development has led to a massive inequality in wealth. Now we're going to talk about health. And we're going to talk about this uh, little fella on the screen here um, and what's going on with that. So copy the subtitle and we'll move on. OK, got a video for you to watch here, uh, just over four minutes long. I'd like you to answer those four questions in full sentences um, as you watch it or just afterwards. You can rewind the video. It's, it's up to you how you do this. So we spend about 10 minutes on that and we'll go through some answers in just a second. Pause the video now. OK, so malaria is caused by plasmodium parasites from mosquitoes. If you've just put parasites, that's fine. What are the symptoms? The symptoms are fever, headache and chills. Malaria makes it harder or impossible to work due to the sickness. That's something that the video didn't specifically mention, but hopefully you could think about. And finally, everybody cannot be vaccinated or cured because there is not enough money or good enough health care in their country. This is not fair. as These people deserve to be safe and healthy. Um, and here's how we link to development. The fact that richer, high income countries, more developed countries are more likely to be able to easily vaccinate and cure people against malaria. If you were to contract malaria in this country, um, the health service would fairly easily be able to treat you and cure you. However, in some countries, especially in remote areas, places far away from cities, um, people are, are much less likely to get treated and it could be a lot more serious. OK, so where can malaria be found in the world? Is it just about wealth? Is it about something else? Uh, let's have a look. So could you write three points for me, please? You could mention continents, countries, latitude. Remember, that's how far away you are from the equator. Um, use a sentence starter. Malaria is located. And in order to get some country names uh, or some continent names, if you happen to have forgotten those, by all means, um, use an atlas, Google uh, or search engine for a, a world map. Um, they're called political maps, ones with country names on them. So search one of those and write three statements about which countries have malaria in the world. Pause the video now. OK, so a few points that you may have put, add any that you may have missed. Malaria is located around the equator. There's the big pattern. Most malaria is located in Central Africa. And we've got some examples there. Congo, Kenya, Rwanda, Ghana. It stretches across Africa from the Atlantic to the Indian Ocean. Uh, could have mentioned that. And there are medium and low amounts of malaria in Asia, North and South America. So it's worth mentioning that uh, whilst most is in Central Africa, there are also um, counts of um, malaria around other parts of the world. But generally, the pattern, the biggest pattern is and the one you must have written down. It's located around the equator. 
So if you need to pause the video now to jot those down, do so. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next slide. OK, final task for this lesson then. So this is the worksheet that is attached. If you haven't got it, it's fine. You can copy it. You're going to copy that table at the bottom, physical on one side and human on the other. And you are going to write the statements at the top A to I on the correct side. If you do have the worksheet, you can just write the letters. So that speeds you up a bit. Either way, um, you're categorizing them. And these are all reasons why malaria spreads. Um, um, specifically, obviously, Central Africa, because that's where it is certainly worse. Uh, once you've done that, then there is a question to answer. A tough question. This is a difficult question. To what extent is malaria a disease of poverty? So you've got to think to yourself, what does poverty have to do with malaria? Well, go back to the video, go back to your answers, and there's the start of that answer there. But then you've also got to consider, as the bullet point says, whether malaria is caused by poverty or other factors. Well, you know that there are other factors because you've just come across some in this task on this slide. Then you've got to start to think, well, which is the most important factor? Is it poverty or is it something else? Put that into a piece of writing. This is going to be maybe a paragraph or two. When you've done that, you can email that to your teacher. And this is exactly the kind of work we'd love to see a bit of creativity in how you put this together and write it, um, showing your ability to kind of explain points and in this case, even evaluate whether it is poverty or not. Um, and this is the kind of thing we'd love to see as teachers and we could give you some feedback on as well. So get cracking with all of that. Um, and overall, the um, table, well, it says 15 minutes at the bottom there. Um, I think I think maybe if you're writing the table out, it's certainly going to take a bit more than that. Uh, spend spend 10 minutes on that writing task and as long as that table takes to do depending you know, it could take you a few minutes if you're using the worksheet or it could take you 10 minutes if you're copying it all out anyway get cracking with that we've got one more slide to go and we're done okay so the final slide the answers to the worksheet just go through and double check those letters um, if you're not sure what letter tallies up to what then just rewind the video back to the sheet again uh, and you can check the letters and make sure you've got that correct don't forget if you'd like to, we, we'd love to see your work. Email it to us and share. Otherwise, have a great day. That is the consequences um, of uneven development on wealth and health. We'll see you soon. Take care.